Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be like a get ready with me how I got this makeup look, all the products I use, and answering all the questions. I put it on my Instagram story a few weeks ago, so I'm just pulling up your responses and I answered a few questions in this video. So without further ado, welcome back to my channel and let's do this. I'm going to a gala, so I'm gonna do like a full glam, full beat makeup moment. I did get a spray tan for this event, so my face is a little whiter than my body. I like to use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and I like to use the Drunk Elephant Glow Drops, Bronze Drops, because they're gonna help balance my face to my body. So one of the first and many questions I got asked was, when are you posting your next video on YouTube? And I'm addressing it now. So for a while, for time and time again, you guys know on YouTube, I like to post and ghost. It's not because, and it's like, it's not funny. It's not funny, but I'm gonna be real with you guys and tell you guys why I post and ghost on YouTube. So pretty much every time that I would post like a day in the life video or anything like that, um, whenever I had the time, cause I was working full time as a nurse. We all know I was working during the pandemic. I love to pick up overtime cause I'm a crazy little girl and that was what would bring me joy like making money and doing what i love you know what better combination than that i would get a lot of requests for like day in the life of a nurse youtube videos so i started to film those and make those and i had so much fun making them but every time that i would make them i would get a call from hr from the hospital that i worked at literally the next morning and no, I'm, I'm lying, same day. Like I would post it in the morning and then like later that afternoon, they would call me, hey, um, I just wanted to let you know that I saw your whole YouTube video. Um, There's nothing wrong with it. Um, But you know, like the back screen, like it kind of showed like the name of the unit that day. So like try not to do that. Or, like little remarks, little things. And it was just so annoying. Like, I know it's, it sounds like something minimal, but it's already hard enough like going to work and doing a difficult job. And then being there and like knowing that everybody knows about it, it just feels like a lot of pressure and i always felt like i couldn't kind of do my job because i was focused on like oh they know who i am and they know this and they know that and like if i make a mistake like they're gonna talk bad about me and like all these other things and everybody watching me and it's just a lot of like pressure and stress so i just like didn't want to do it like i didn't want to do it it felt like unprofessional i felt like everybody was watching me and it just gave me like a lot of like extra anxiety and then on top of that when i did do it and i had a good time doing it the next morning i get a phone call and it's just like <sighs> so that's why i kind of like posted it ghosted i'm using the Giorgio armani silk luminous in shade 575 so i'm just gonna keep where i work from now on private because it is just not worth it I'm gonna tell people like I'm not even working like whatever like I'm gonna do everything very low-key um because I'm going back to work to being a nurse and I just feel like it's kind of better to separate the two I'm gonna continue to make like my little day in the life videos but I'm just not gonna do anything at work because it's just not worth the stress just the stress it's just not worth it for me I'm over it. I'm old I'm 27 years old I've been doing this for three years already and I'm just tired i want to film and i want it to be a good time and i don't want to have to like before i post something like oh my god am i gonna get in trouble am i gonna get in trouble like oh my god i'm getting called into the office like i'm a grown woman like that's not necessary and i advise other people that are younger than me and are nurses or just have a normal job and want to do social media like just keep it as separate as possible next question i got asked that i always get asked i don't know why i get asked so much how i met my boyfriend i already made like a whole tiktok video about it I'm happy to share again briefly pretty much we knew each other for many years like we had each other on social media but that was like it like we didn't like really talk and stuff um i hadn't seen him in person in years he like started replying to my story i started like kind of replying to his story kind of would leave me on red i kind of would leave him on red too like it was just like a weird thing i think i added him on snapchat and then I snapped him a picture of me out one night that I was like drinking with my friends, like not very romantic. Just like in my single party girl, like not looking for anything serious era. You always find your person when you're not looking for them. I wasn't looking. We started messaging and he was like, hey, we should get drinks next week. And I was like, next week? <laughs> I'm free tomorrow. Like using the Dior concealer. We went to dinner. We went to Swan here in Miami. We met up. It was just supposed to be drinks. I was like, I'm hungry. Like we, we did dinner. COVID was kind of over-ish but you still had to wear a mask. So he was wearing a mask, I was wearing a mask, and I didn't really like see him until like we sat down and he took off his mask, but I just remember him being like so tall and he had like blue, blue eyes, and I was like, God, he's so cute. Like we sit down and we start talking and it was just cool. Like 
when a lot of times when people say like oh like i got butterflies like i didn't really get butterflies like i felt like very calm and comfortable like i was like oh my god he's super cute but when you find your person you're supposed to be calm you're not supposed to be like anxious and like feeling all weird like that's not how you're supposed to feel it's supposed to feel comfortable after dinner we went back to his apartment not like that he was having like people over like friends over he's like hey i'm having a few friends over like if you want to go back we can hang out like we're gonna watch a fight so like a few of his friends were over watching the fight and i went with him and then i went home later I just blended in the concealer. I put it in my under eyes, in my little T-zone, wherever I have little marks. And then I like to get this, these little Neutrogena wipes. I'm obsessed with them. Like, honestly, they're bomb. Like, I don't care what anybody says. And I like to use it to kind of like, take it off my lips so I don't look like, ridiculous during this video. And it's just like, not crusty. My mirror's over here, so I'm just like. <laughs> and after that date, um, we've been together ever since. Like. We kept talking after that day. Everything went smoothly pretty much. Like there was never any like red flags, bumps in the road. He like texted me every day, like made friends with me after the fact, like sent me flowers, like met my parents. Like, I don't know, like it was just perfect. And then he like low-key like never really asked me to be his girlfriend. He just started calling me his girlfriend. Like after we were dating for a few weeks and I was like, okay, this so till this day it's still like a weird thing. Like we don't even know how long we've been together. Like I always say march no i say april or may of like 2021 like that's that's my that our timestamp, but like we don't have like an exact date which is fine i guess because we're adults whatever i got these brushes really quick i got these brushes from amazon and they come with this little case i'm gonna link it down below i really like them i love them i've been using them for a while now so i'm a big fan of them we're gonna bake and we're gonna contour where's my contour stick i also have this like i'll show you this is my vanity and then i have this like organizer for all my makeup and um my perfumes and i'm just obsessed with it and my skincare this is where i keep everything right now i'm looking for my oh here it is my rare beauty i think i just have like too much add to film these videos sometimes like i just get so distracted this dirty <laughs> rare beauty contour stick i'm gonna link all the makeup that i use on my amazon storefront not saying you have to buy it from there, but it's just better so you can like see all the products in one listing. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're gonna go like this. I have to look this way, I'm sorry. I'm just hit in all the areas. I'm not very good at contouring my nose. Nonetheless, I still try every time. Eventually one day, I will get it. But I don't think what I do is that bad. Like, I think I do a pretty good job at my makeup. Okay, before I blend this in, when you were a new grad, did you ever feel unprepared? I'm going to graduate soon and I'm scared. So, here's the thing. I'm going to blend this. I like to blend with this brush. I feel like it helps pat it into the skin and not kind of like, just get ugly everywhere. Here's the thing. I think that you will never fully feel prepared. Like, I've been a nurse for three years now and like now is kind of like when I feel like prepared, I would say, that I feel like okay being on my own but there's still times where i'm at work and i'm like running like looking around for like the oldest nurse there to like ask her for her advice because you just never stop learning and all patients are different like it's never going to be the same exact situation and i feel like you build off experience like no no matter what book you read no matter how smart you are it's about like your experiences and your judgment and your gut and those little tricks and like how to communicate with people like there's just so much that goes into like being a good nurse and it's really not just like getting an a in all your classes and passing your NCLEX and taking it in 45 minutes like it's not about that like I'm no hate to myself because I did well in school and I did good in my NCLEX but you know I don't know at all like I'm still learning each day I think that little by little you will start to feel more comfortable and just know that you're not alone when you feel like that like it's okay to feel scared it means that you care and you care about your patients and you want to be the best nurse you could be like that's a really good quality to have so don't feel bad about that next i'm gonna use the anastasia beverly hills i think this is like the dip brow i'm not a hundred percent sure this is kind of old in the shade caramel and i've just been using this for years and i like the way it looks so we're just gonna brush the brows my eyebrows are microbladed oh the next question i got was have you ever had any surgery plastic surgery cosmetic procedures things like that i am very open about everything i've had done i never want to set unrealistic expectations for anybody and i know that 
I see my analytics and I know that a lot of younger girls do follow me and I want to be like an inspiration to them and I also don't want them to just think like oh my god like how does she look like that like it's it's not all real <laughs> I like to just be upfront and like realistic about my stuff so when I was younger I was always like very tiny very skinny I've always been like very petite and like my boobs just like my boobs never came in like I was like a cup like it wasn't going to grow it wasn't gonna fix it it wasn't anything that I could do to fix it in the gym and me personally like I'm a boob girl like I love boobs like I like the way they look on other women I think they look so like feminine and it makes you look beautiful and that's just what I like there's a lot of people that are the opposite a lot of my friends are like oh no I feel like Kendall Jenner like gorgeous skinny supermodel without boobs me I always wanted boobs so when I was like 19 years old got a breast augmentation and I got 330 cc's and they're saline implants that's the only thing I've had done to my body ever I've never had anything else done I've always had big legs and I go to the gym that's about it. That's probably the only thing I do. Just because you can't like grow boobs. You can't like go to the gym and like chest press and like get like these honkers. Like it's just not, it's just not gonna happen. A few years later, I think when I was like 22, 23, I got some lip filler. I've gotten it done a few times because it does fade after a while. But in the span of like years, I wanted my upper lip to like match my bottom lip because my bottom lip was juicier and that's it. What else have I had done? Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, I got like tear trough filler like under eye filler for to fix my eye bags when i was working night shift one time but i didn't like like it came out good but then a few months later i think i had like migration or maybe my night shift eye bags were just so bad that it didn't cover and i got it dissolved so oh and i got a little bit of botox and i have to go back because it's been a while and like i'm starting to see some movement and i don't know man i'm getting old i'm getting old <sighs> and I think that's about it for my procedures next up is this is the <laughs> there's like no writing on it because it's like so used it's the charlotte tilbury blush uh, the glowgasm blush damn this shit's dry too okay gotta squeeze it out i got some now perfect what was i gonna say what's the next thing i got asked oh the next question i got asked is did you always want to be a nurse is this something that you always wanted the answer is no so i didn't always know that i wanted to be a nurse okay i feel like my parents kind of like were like you should do medicine and i was like okay like because <laughs> i didn't know what else to do and then i started watching Grey's anatomy and i was like this is like a true story this is what happened I started watching Grey's anatomy i was like "Ooh, like i'm kind of down like this is like so nice so i wanted to be a doctor um this is kind of a lot um not exactly a doctor because i don't know i thought being a doctor would be kind of boring i wanted to do like which is like you guys are gonna be like that's even more boring a dermatologist <laughs> because i like skin and i like beauty and i was like oh my god like i can have my own little like cute beauty studio and like everything could be about skin because i've always had like really bad eczema like really bad eczema on my hands i get it all the time i get it on my legs and i get it on all my joints next is my charlotte tilbury highlighter so as i was saying i didn't know that i wanted to be a nurse so while i was in school and i was like doing the pre-med route i started taking all these classes and i took organic chemistry and i was like to just be 500% for real with you, like there was just no way that I was gonna pass orgo and all these crazy science classes and like be able to have a life. And the only way it doesn't suck is if you actually love what you do. So me that I was just like, I don't really love that idea. And I'm very caring, I'm a people person, I'm a friendly girl, I'm very talkative. And I was like, I feel like nursing is like for me. And I, when I had my first clinicals during nursing school, that's when I was like, okay, like this is for me. Like my first patient that I had, she was tricked and she couldn't talk and it was really hard for her to communicate and like that's a whole nother story for another video but she like hated everybody and like she kicked everybody out of the room and then like i went back in the room because i had nothing to do with was like a little baby nursing student i was like no maybe if i use therapeutic communication like so lame of me but yo it worked i went in there i talked to her in a nice calm tone and i like listened to her and i heard her out and i was super nice to her and i don't know we just like connected and she was so happy she like told everybody how amazing i was like I was like star student of the day because it was like the first clinical and all my classmates were like oh my god you're like really good at this so i was like maybe i am good at this so we're gonna bake i have my little puffer i got these on amazon and my laura mercier baking powder that i've used for years i put it like this and i just tap and it kind of like just buffers away all my little imperfections it takes all the little moisture right out of my under eyes and i love that 
I also like to put it like right here because I can get oily here and I can also get oily here. But I like the rest of my face to be like dewy, you know, like I don't want to take away from that gorgeous shine. I also got a few questions on how I study and I made a whole video about how I got through nursing school and how I studied and I'll put that video in the description box just because it's not something that I can answer right away. But the short version of that response would be to look at YouTube videos because a lot of times professors like no shade but they just don't know how to teach they just read off the PowerPoint and my mind like just doesn't work that way I need to like see pictures like I'm I, I'm like a visual learner I need to see like a picture I need to like connect the dots I need to color code so if you're struggling with your lectures go home look at the disease go on YouTube Study on your own as long as it takes, study in groups if that's what helps you, whatever it is that helps you, but you need to find your way. And also I would say like write out your notes instead of just like type them. I feel like it helps to write something out like studies show literally, evidence-based research shows that if you write it out, you will not forget it. So next I'm taking my Morphe palette. This is so old. Do these things expire? It says it expires in 12 months. I bought this, I don't know how many years ago, but I think that is a cap. Like, it definitely works just fine. So, we're gonna use my little expired Morphe palette. And let's see how it goes. I like to put, like, this color. I don't know, like, a light bronzy like color here. Again, you guys, I'm literally not a professional, but I got asked to make this video. So, I'm just doing my best. This is what I do. This is what works for me. I like the angle. So, I put it here, like so, so that I could, like, not get that fallout just in case. This is a good tip if you're like not a professional. And see, it kind of like, I don't know, it works, it works for me. Like, okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. I like to start with a color like this and then like work my way up to different colors. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of just do random stuff and mix it all together. But at the end of the day, it does, it does look good. And there's no rules in makeup. Like, look how good that looks. Next one is, what is your current workout routine? So my current workout routine, oh my god, thank you. It's a compliment that you asked me that. I'm not even in like that good of shape right now, but I'll take it. My current workout routine is Pilates. So I started doing Pilates. I still have my Peloton bike at my parents' house, but I put it back there because it was kind of like causing clutter in my apartment and I was like eh, over it. So now I'm going to take the black color and hopefully like I don't mess it up too much in the corner of my eye. But I started doing Pilates and I'm going to give you guys a hack. The best way, at least for me, I hope this black doesn't mess everything up. Immediate regret. Actually, I can make this work. Um, the best thing that I could do is work out in the morning. Like, wake up super early, like, so you don't have to think about it. Like, I literally wake up, I brush my teeth. I don't shower anything, I just brush my teeth, I change into my workout clothes, and I run out the door and I go straight to Pilates. When I'm on that reformer, because I do reformer Pilates, I go to solid core. When I'm on that reformer and I'm like doing <laughs> like the first plank, that's when I fully wake up. I kid you not. And I just started doing that every day and I started scheduling my classes. I started as a 5 a.m. girly. I started doing 5 a.m. workout classes because I'm crazy. Because I had a crazy month in December and I had to do 170 clinical hours. I had exams, I had checkoffs, I had all these things in NP school and I was just so freaking busy that the only time I could work out was 5 in the morning. It was either 5 in the morning or 8 at night and like let's be real, like no one's gonna work out at 8 p.m. when you just had a long day. So if I do it in the morning, I don't talk myself out of it. So my advice is wake up super early, get it out of the way, do it fasted, don't even have breakfast, like don't give your yourself the chance to think about anything and then just go and do that. So I started doing that and I have never been happier. I've been going now since mid-November, Monday through Friday, every day pretty much. I did switch in January. Instead of being a 5 a.m. girly, I'm a 7 a.m. girly. So I sleep in a little bit because I don't have clinical or class like that early anymore. So I just get to sleep in and I go at 7 a.m. So I wake up at 6.30 in the morning to change super quick. It's right next to my house, run over there, do the Pilates, and I'm home by 8 a.m. By 8 a.m. I'm home after my class. And that's when I start my day. So I wake up every morning 6.30 a.m. But I used to wake up at 4.30 a.m. And that was so toxic. But I felt so good. Trust me that you just feel so good when you wake up early and you get so much done. And you'll be so shocked by everything that you accomplish. There's a reason why all those millionaires and all those very successful people are up so early. Like, I'm not, I'm not kidding. You don't have the option to do that because you work night shift. 
do the night shift version of that so like wake up at 2 p.m or 3 p.m <laughs> you know like just try to wake up as early as your schedule allows for there's no excuse you make the excuses yourself this eye is really bad but i'm just gonna show you guys how ugly it is and how i could fix it because everything in life can be fixed when mistakes are made they can be fixed so i'm gonna get a fluffy clean brush this is clean because it's new and i'm just gonna start blending it out to get like that smoky eye siren vibe of my eye back in the clubbing days i would do this and i had the prettiest smoky eye ever like all my friends would ask me to do their makeup and i would have to do everybody's smoky eye before we went to the club i wouldn't be caught dead at the club nowadays like there's just no way babe there's no way i'm i gotta go i gotta be up at pilates like i got work to do I got emails to answer blendy blend you literally just blend until it looks good. I mean, look, if it looks really bad, you just kind of like swoop. And I'm just going to clean up here because I want it to be nice and clean. What do you do to take care of your hair and what is your current hair care routine? I have used Olaplex probably since it came out. I only use Olaplex. My hair is in great condition. But I'm going to be real. I have extensions right now. They're tape and extensions. Laced and covered here. You can kind of see it. So there's tape and extensions. They're just so like well put and well covered. And the way that I style my hair, like you would never know unless I told you. It's like a goldy white color. And I feel like it would look good with silver because it's like light. So I feel like it ties my eye together. I only got them because my hair was looking a little unhealthy. And I told my hair lady to cut it off that I wanted something completely different. And she cut it off. And I told her, like, I gave her the green light. I'm like, dude, cut off whatever you need that's dead. Like, and cut off a little more. I want layers. I want layers. And I liked it for a day, maybe, maybe two days. And then I like cried and I was like, I hate this short hair. Like I've had long hair my whole life. So I got extensions. See, I told you guys I fixed the eyes. You just literally just have to blend it all in and then add some gold and then just keep blending some more until you can't blend no more. Get one of these fine tip brushes. I probably like this one. It gets pretty fine tip. And I'm going to go under my eye with like a blackish color, like a dark, and just like get like a smoky eye effect. Let's do another question. I feel like I'm getting off topic. This I have too much ADD to make these videos, I swear. Oh, this is a good one. Failures and tips on healthy relationships, not being insecure, and being more confident. Okay, so I used to be a crazy girlfriend. Like, I used to be a crazy girlfriend. I admit it, it's okay. I was young, I was immature. I've had other boyfriends before Austin, and I was just a crazy girl. Um, I did long distance for a while, too, and that just makes you crazy in general, and it just makes you insecure because you're not with your significant other. So I also feel like it does depend on your partner, though, too. Like, to not have relationship problems, you need to be secure with yourself. If you're secure with yourself and you're happy with yourself, you're not going to be jealous. You're not going to feel insecure. Also, you have to have a good partner. Like, Austin never makes me feel insecure. He never makes me have to be jealous. Like, I know that he loves me. I know that he's obsessed with me. And, like, I know that I have nothing to worry about. Period. If I'm not going to be with somebody who treats me that way, then I'm not going to be with anybody. Like, you treat me like that or you're just not with me because there's just no need to put up with that. So, at the end of the day, find somebody who knows your self-worth and you're never going to have a problem. You know, like, just not going to have a problem. Now we're going to get under there. It took me a long time to think this way. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm older now, but I used to be a crazy girlfriend just underneath like that and then like kind of like do like a little one of these on top then you're gonna get another brush this one's good it's like a pointy brush and we're just gonna smoke it out a little bit you know now i'm gonna spray my face not because i'm like fully done yet but just because sometimes i set it in the middle of doing my makeup okay what's next Here's a good one. What do you do when you want to unwind and relax when you're stressed out? I personally have always turned to social media when I've been stressed out. And for me, that's what works. I also like to relax. I like to binge Netflix shows. I like to go to Pilates. I feel like it's important to take at least one hour a day for yourself, whether that's to work out, to watch a movie, to be on your phone, like take an hour a day that you do, like whatever it is you want to do. And that makes you a better version of yourself. Corny, but whatever. This is my best advice. This is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. This is the one that went viral on TikTok because everyone says Kylie Jenner uses it. And of course, my dumbass went running to support, running. Like I broke my ankle running to Sephora to get this blush because Kylie uses it. And I was like, period, I need to look the same. But um, <laughs> then it came out that she doesn't even use it. And all I want to say is I'm so thankful for whoever lied because this is my favorite blush. This is my favorite blush. This is bomb. I love how it looks. Look how pink. 
and pretty. Like, it's so pink and gorgeous and I just love how like pinky it looks and how it just kind of like, I don't know, it looks so cute and I just love it. I think I'm gonna do my Dior. This is the Dior pencil in the shade Jungle. Okay. One of the last questions I got that I'm gonna answer now is how did you get into social media? Because it's like my side hustle and it's enough to be my main hustle and nursing is now kind of like my side hustle, you know? So let me tell you. Everybody wants to get into social media now because they see like the brand trips and the brand deals and the sponsorships and the ads and the money and whatever. And it's all great. It is like, I'm not gonna lie, like I love it, but there are some downsides to it. And I just wanna be like transparent. It's a lot, if you're a sensitive person, like this is not for you. If you care about what everybody thinks, this is not for you. If you don't like reading mean comments, if you don't like receiving hate, if you're sensitive in any way, if you do not have thick skin, it's not for you. Cause people are very mean, no matter how nice you are, no matter all the good things you do, you could literally have a whole ass job, a whole ass license, a whole ass degree, and people are still gonna be like, she's just a stupid blonde. Like, there's always something to say and people just say things and you have to just like learn to brush it off and not care. You also have to like not be embarrassed. Like sometimes your content is gonna flop and that's okay. Like every video is not gonna get a million views. Every video is not gonna get 10,000 views. Like whatever it is that you like you're aiming for that you got once upon a time. Like things are gonna flop and that's just a part. That's just a part of it. You know, it's not always a hit. Like it's just, it's not. And it's... Everybody starts from zero. Like, I definitely started from zero. Like, I don't know why people think that everything just happened overnight. Like, yeah, one day one of my videos did blow up, but I had been posting for a while. I had been doing it for months. I had been posting on TikTok since March. And then in August of 2020 was when it took off. You know, like it took a few months for me to get there. And then ever since I've been posting, you have to be very consistent. I realized that when I'm not consistent, like there is like a decrease and like, I don't get as much engagement. So it's just about, Consistency is key and you can't be embarrassed. It's always embarrassing until it's not. Like people think you're embarrassing or your video is cringe until it has 21 million views and then they're like, hey, um, can you post on your story? Like I just started a business, like girl. You take it seriously, you don't care about what anybody thinks, don't care about what anybody says and do you and have that like lucky girl syndrome mentality that like it's gonna happen to me and like it will happen to you. You just have to, have to think it'll happen, you know? Fenty gloss is to the brim. This is my favorite lip gloss. Rihanna, if you're watching this, probably not. Um, Fenty, anybody from the Fenty team, I'm obsessed. This is my favorite, like, lip gloss of all time. It's just the bomb. Every time I wear it, everybody asks me what it is. Can we talk about how I forgot to put on mascara? Am I okay? I feel like it's, like, the first time I'm ever making a video in my life at this point. Okay, we're gonna do the Pat McGrath mascara. Thank God I noticed now, I was about to just go. And I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, something's, something's not right, what am I missing? I curled my lashes before I started this video so I didn't look like too ugly, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not gonna real curl them for the camera, but I do curl them. I use this Tweezer Man eyelash curler and then the Pat McGrath mascara, the combo of the two is just like, force to be reckoned with honestly it's so good can we look at the difference why did i think that it was okay to leave the house like this i was gonna go to a whole gala with no mascara okay and now love it the mascara looks good i'm gonna put a little white eyeliner just to like tight line so my eyes look a little even bigger than they already are guys my outfit <laughs> oh my god i'm obsessed it's so good and like my shoes no hold on hold on let's get a It's so cute! I'm obsessed. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and let me know what else you want to see next. I am going to be posting later on a day in the life video vlog this week. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching.